What's going on, YouTube? This is a quick video of me doing what you do when drip is falling. You wait and see how far it falls for you to go buy back in. So like I said, I am totally all about drip. I think it has a great ecosystem. I want to DCA down a bit from where I got in. So if you look at the chart on deck screener, um, currently we're sitting at 58. And the time of this recording, it's four, oh, sorry, 332 Pacific. So basically, we've been sitting at 58. So we're, we've, we're gonna hit this 54. This would be the third time. If it bounces off of this 54 right here, on decks, I know everyone's is looking at maybe on, on different uh, areas, but in general, this 54 is a big number for me. If I see this go past 54, the next support, I can see it going all the way back down to 26. Now, will it? I don't know. No one can tell the future. All I just know is just looking at this chart. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the next support at 26. If it doesn't hit that, then or stay or bounce, then it's 13 and so on and so forth. But I mean, Realistically speaking, you never know, right? With everything kind of being on hold for another nine days, right? And the market is what it is. It's super volatile. And today the market is down, right? I think yesterday I showed it was up. Now everything, we're down 4% on the market in total. Bitcoin and Ethereum are down. And then drip obviously just continues to fall. So in my thinking the sky was falling, hell no. Uh, I love my drip. I just know that, you know, if I'm going to buy back in, I'm going to wait. Um, if it bounces off a of 54 or not. If it does, awesome. Um, and I'll just buy right before it heads back up. If it doesn't, then I'm waiting um, a little further. So, you know what you do when you got drip? You just go ahead and claim. That's all you can do. So, like I said, I'm a, I'm a fan, um, but I'm also... Not trying to throw my money out there if I think there's a better price. So I'm going to wait. So you can see me hydrate here. Go to my MetaMask. It looks like I got about 4.897. So add to my total. Hydrate and compound for the next day. I mean, that's all you can do, right? I'm not taking this thing out. So I'm going to go from 450 to, I don't know, 454. Uh, some change. Oh, actually, 55. So on here, it shows, I'm just curious what it shows here. 53. So, like I said, I think between these two, it's there. So. I'm, I'm just waiting. Um, it could be a good time to buy. I'm just going to see if it holds through out today. And if it doesn't go past 54, then I'm going to buy today. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. I'm just telling you what I see. Everyone have a great day. And this is, like I said, a super short video. Take care.